I'd like to invite the Managing Director, National Enterprise Corporation, Honorable Lieutenant General James Mujira, to come and address you. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and the Commanding Chief of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, the Honorable Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, the Chief of Defense Forces, the Commander, Land Forces, the Commander of the Reserve Forces, the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, the CEO, Proheri, General Officers and Men of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, the Distinguished Visiting Delegation from the Russian Federation, officials of the Russian Embassy in Uganda who have joined us this afternoon, the staff of Proheri, ladies and gentlemen. Let me take this opportunity on behalf of the National Enterprise Corporation and on behalf of our joint venture partners to welcome your excellency here at the Proheri Maintenance Repair and Overhaul Plant, sparing time of your tight schedule to come over and commission into flight the first overhauled helicopter on the Ugandan soil, and I'm told the first Russian type helicopter to be overhauled on the African continent south of Sahara. <clears throat> Sir, this is no doubt a landmark in the history of military aviation in this country and a big milestone in the development of our national defense industries, which, without your Excellency's support, would have remained a dream. The technical people have already explained to you in detail what the overhaul entailed. Permit me, Your Excellency, to just point out that by carrying out the helicopter overhaul here in Uganda, we have, among others, achieved the following. One, as a force, we have built capacity through the transfer of technology and skills. The Air Forces under the supervision of foreign experts have learned a lot through on-job practical training and exposure, and we believe in the near future they will be able to do all these works by themselves. Second lesser, the Minister of Defense has made some financial saving. For example, the now almost $2 million return trip to facilities abroad where we use it to overhaul these helicopters, and the costs of travel and other expenses of the Air Force personnel to those facilities has been saved. Previously, it used to take not less than three years to overhaul a helicopter abroad. I'm told these days, if a country is lucky to have the helicopter accepted, the period is more. But in our case, it has just taken us only one year and a few months. Uh, sir, this plant has also offered employment to our young engineers and other trades. Finally, there is some, benef some financial benefit to NEC and the rural industries in form of dividends, which will be used to fund other critical areas like research and development. Let me take this opportunity to thank our partners, led by Mr. Valery Kopekin, for this huge investment. As you can see, Your Excellency, since the commissioning of the plant one year ago, a number of new modern workshops have been set up and well equipped. So many residential apartments for the staff have also been set up, and plans have been concluded to start assembly of helicopters here in Uganda in the near future, and I think Mr. Valery uh, will give you the details. Very serious and practical partners, not the talking ones who are very many these days, and I therefore wish to thank them in front of your Excellency for their spirit and commitment. I thank the ProHeri team, both expatriates and local, 
for the professionalism and a job well done. <laughs> Finally, I thank the leadership of the Minister of Defense and the Uganda People's Defense Forces for all the support they have given us, which has enabled us to reach this far. On our part, we can only pledge to continue our mission of developing our national defense industries to greater heights and make them among, if not the most advanced, on the African continent. Once again, I thank your Excellency for gracing this occasion for God and my country. I also want to thank uh, Lieutenant General Mijira for taking the initiative to follow up because normally these ideas come, but they are not grown by those who are, who are concerned. And they die on the way. Umuruganda wachita oksowa. Octorosia. Octorosia. Many ideas are about are aborted because they are not supported. So I really want to thank Lieutenant General Mijira, who has not aborted these ideas of Toroje. What over the way of Toroje? Brucellosis. It is so and is so. The children in Chitakura Kubanga, it is so.